Hi friends. I am curious about something. Have you ever played make-believe or pretend or maybe even a game like charades or Pictionary where somebody else had to guess what you were pretending to be? Well, I want to read a story with you guys today about two boys who really kind of let their imagination go and they discover how much fun they can have when they pretend play. And then afterwards, we're going to play a little game ourselves using pretend play and our imaginations and we're going to have a lot of fun. So, let's get started. The name of our story today is Let's Do Nothing. Oh my goodness. Have you ever thought like, there's nothing to do? Well, I bet that there is something to do. So here we go. It says, I think we've done it all. We've played every sport ever invented. Painted more pictures in a day than Van Gogh did in a lifetime. Baked enough cookies to feed a small country. Played every board game we could find. Read every comic book that... Okay, okay, let's stop talking for 10 seconds. All right, 10 seconds of nothing. That's it. Let's do nothing. There they are. See, they're doing nothing. They are statues. They are statues doing nothing. But look what happens to these statues. Oh my goodness. The pigeons come and land on them and get them covered up. He says, Frankie, what are you doing? And Frankie is, he says he's shooing pigeons. <laughs> he was pretending to be a statue and then all these pigeons were landing on him. So then he had to shoo the pigeons away. Shooing pigeons is not doing nothing. Let's try it again, okay? Um, let's imagine we're in a quiet grove in the middle of an old forest. Will be two giant redwood trees. You can do that. I can do that. So let's pretend with them. Let's pretend we are in a quiet grove in the middle of an old forest and we are giant redwood trees. Can you be a giant redwood tree for me? All right. Remember, redwood trees are really tall. They're really strong. And they don't talk. So you just have to stand very tall. guys make amazing redwood trees. Oh no, but look what's going to happen. Here comes this little dog. He sees him and he starts sniffing. Oh no, what do you think is going to happen? Oh no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Frankie, your dog just went to the bathroom on me. You mean that dog over there? The one sleeping on my bed? I think Frankie has a pretty good imagination. You know, you know the Empire State Building in New York? You are it. Tall, heavy, you've been sitting still for years and years. No silly pigeon or puny dog could rattle the likes of you. Oh, majestic one. Can you do it, sir? Yeah! Can you guys be the Empire State Building with Frankie? So you are tall, you are heavy, you are majestic. Nothing can move you, okay? So be tall, Empire State Buildings, guys. You can do it. Oh, my goodness. You guys are doing amazing. He says, how's it going up there, my friend? Frankie says, fantastic. Fantastic. Look at those. You guys are great. Empire State Buildings. Nice job. Oh, but look what I see here. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh no. And he takes 
it's his glasses. Oh my. Okay, okay, new plan. I'm going to make you the king of nothing doers. Lie down on the floor, please. Like this? Yes. Now, don't move, and you've got to hold your breath. That one on your belly is moving up and down. Got it. What if I need to blink? Can't blink, my friend. That's not doing nothing. But my eyes are burning. Then close them but that's not doing nothing either. Okay, then don't close. Sal, Sal. What do you guys think Sal is saying to Frankie right now? He looks a little frustrated to me and he's like, why can't we just do nothing? Look at that face, that's what I think he's thinking. That's it. We figured it out. People have had it wrong for hundreds and thousands of years. There is no way to do nothing. You, me, your eyes, you, we can never do nothing. This is big, really big. You know what we have to do now, don't you? Yup. Let's do something. And there they go. Straight out of the room to go do something. The end. I'm so excited that they finally figured out to go do something. Um, but they had so much fun using their imaginations and pretending to be different things like a redwood tree, statues, the Empire State Building, and then they got real silly and tried to lay on the ground to do absolutely nothing, like not even blink, not even like scratch their head. They, they were trying to do nothing, but they couldn't. So I have an idea for us to do something today, and I hope you guys are going to have so much fun doing this. We're going to play charades, and you guys can do this at home with your parents too, okay? Um, so you can either do it with charades or you could also do it as a Pictionary game. So I'm going to do it both ways a couple of times so that we can play this together, okay? First, we're going to start with charades. So in this bucket, I have a whole bunch of different words that I'm going to try to act out. And you guys have to guess what I am, okay? And then in this little bag, I have different color pieces of paper. And what we're going to do with those colors of paper is they each one stands for a different thing you have to do. So you either have to, after you guess my word, you either have to tell me an opposite for that word. If you can think of one, some words don't have opposites and that's okay. You, or you have to think of a word that means the same thing. And some words might not have one of those and that's okay too. Um, you have to, or you might have to use it in a sentence or you're going to have to tell me all the sounds around that word and we're going to have to chop it out together. Okay. So are you ready? Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a color because I got to see what we have to do with the word after you guess it. Okay. Let's see. Um, and I'm mixing it up, mixing it up and close my eyes. You know, no shenanigans, right? And let's see. What is the color? It is pink. All right. Pink color means that we have to chop out the sounds after you figure out what my word is. All right? So, here we go. I'm going to pick, a, pick from my bucket. I'm not peeking again. No shenanigans. I hear you. I hear you. No shenanigans. I can't let you see the word. Oh, my gosh. This is a good one. It's one of my favorites. I hope you guys like this one. Okay, you ready? Okay. <clears throat> Can you guys guess what that was? Can you guess what I was pretending to do? What do you think? What do you think? Let me hear your guesses. What do you think? Hmm. Oh, that's a good guess. That might be the one. 
That's right. It was swim. My word was swim. I was pretending to swim. That's kind of hard to do in the air and not in the water, but I was pretending to swim. That is right. Okay, so we got pink, and pink means we have to chop every single sound in the word swim. Okay, so here we go. Do it with me. Put your hands together, and we're going to chop. Are you ready? Mm, swim. Nice job. Okay, I want you guys to say the sounds while I chop it this time, okay? So here we go. And then put it back together. Well done. You guys are good at that. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, picking the colors so we can figure out what we have to do. Picking the colors so we can figure out what we have to do. All right. It is yellow, and for yellow, we are going to use it in a sentence. All right, here we go. Let's pick, pick a word. Pick a word, pick a word. Okay, I got one. Oh, okay, that's another good one. That is another good one. Okay, here we go. You ready? What do you think? Let me hear you guys. Let me hear you guys. That's right! It was rain! I was doing rain with my fingers. Very well done! Okay, let's use rain in a sentence. I'm gonna, I'll use my sentence in just a minute. I want to hear what you guys have to say for your sentence first. So let me hear your sentences. Oh, those are some good sentences. Very well done. They had good detail. And I totally knew that you know what the word rain means. All right, I'm going to use the word rain in this sentence now, okay? Um, last week, I went outside and the rain was falling from the sky and making huge puddles on the ground. Well done, my friends, well done. Okay, so those were a couple examples of how you could use these words to play charades. Now, let's do a couple where we're going to do Pictionary instead, okay? So, I need something to draw on and I need something to draw with. Okay, so here we go. First things first, let's pick what color so we know what we have to figure out after we guess the word, right? Oh my goodness, we got pink again. So that means we're going to have to chop the word up again. Hmm. And, whoa, well, I almost showed you the word. That was close. All right, I got it. Oh, this might be tricky to draw, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. trying to, to show you there? Can you tell? Or maybe, um, I draw this, and then that. Oh, this is a little tricky. Can you tell? Maybe if I give you a clue, what do you think, this is a door, what do you think the door is doing? Oh, you guys are so good at this. Yes, it is open. The word is open. Well done, friends. Oh, my goodness. I was a little nervous there that maybe I wasn't going to be able to draw it so you could guess it. But you guys did awesome. Okay, so we got pink, which means we have to chop the word up, right? So we're going to chop up open. Here we go. Hands together and o p e n. Put it back. Open. Okay. Now, I'm not going to say the sounds. You're going to say the sounds, but we're going to chop it together. Are you ready? Nice 
job, my friends. Nice job. Okay, so let's see. And we have, we're gonna do this a couple more times. I'm super excited. You guys are doing amazing. Okay, so here we go. Let's pick another color. Mm -hmm. And we got, we got blue. Okay, blue means that we have to do the opposite. So whenever we figure out the word, if there is an opposite to the word, we're going to figure out what that is. If there is not an opposite to that word, then we can just say that word does not have an opposite pair. And some words do not have opposite pairs. And that's okay. All right? All right, so here we go. Digging in here to find another word. This time I won't show it to you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys almost got me that time. Oh, this is perfect. All right, so we're trying to guess the word, and then we have to guess the opposite of the word, right? Okay, here we go. All right. Mm. Okay. Can you figure it out? Oh my goodness. What do we have going on here? What do you think? I think this looks the correct way to you guys. It might be backwards. It's backwards. That's okay, too. It is a direction. Yes. It is, it's supposed to be left. I hope it looks left to you guys. Yes, it is left. Well done. Well done. So if the word's left and we have to think of an opposite of left, what would that be? It would be right. Very well done. There is left and there is right. Awesome job, my friends. Okay, last one. And then you guys get to go and skedaddle and play this with your families, okay? All right, here we go. Let's see, what's the color going to be? What did we get? We got green. Okay, green means we have to think of a word that means the same thing as the word once you guess it. If there is a word that means the same thing, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's shake it up. Pull us out a word. What did we get? Okay. Alrighty then. Here we go. So you guys can guess my word. I know, my drawings are hilarious. What do you guys think? What is this person doing with whatever this is? What do you think? Oh, it is drink. Well done. It is drink. Amazing. You guys are good at this game. It is drink. Now, do you think that there's a word that means the same thing as drink? Like, I have my bottle here. And I'm going to take a drink. What else could I have done? I could say I want a drink of juice. But could there be another word that I could use? Let me think. A drink. Sip. What a great word. Sip. We could also use sip to mean that we're going to take a drink. We're going to take a little sip. We're going to take a little drink. Well done. You guys are good at this game. You are going to have so much fun with your families playing this game. I cannot wait to hear about all the fun that you have. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for story time. I had a great time. Have an awesome day, and I will see you guys again soon.